If you've been looking for ways to increase your productivity, stay on track of your projects, and make sure that your to-dos don't fall through the wayside, you're gonna love this episode because we're gonna dive in and show you exactly how to explode your productivity using my favorite project management tool, Trello. Welcome back to another episode of Kim TV. I'm Kim Jimenez, and if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to the channel. We share marketing and business strategies every single week for online entrepreneurs. So if that's you, definitely consider subscribing so you never miss out on another practical, easy to follow tutorial like this one. And hey, at any point during the video, make sure that you're also checking out the description box below because we're gonna be linking some amazing bonus resources. Like for example, a copy of this exact Trello board that I'm about to show you so that you can start your Trello journey with a clear template that helps you crush your productivity and your workflow. There's also going to be an accompanying blog post below this video where you can check out even more tutorials tutorials that we've done in the past about Trello, everything from managing, you know, your business workflow to figuring out, you know, how to access and create really good team structures. So I'm really excited for that. Definitely check that out and let's get in the tutorial right now. All right, guys. So as you can see here, Trello is organized into boards and you can see I have a lot of boards, right? Like I wouldn't say way too many because we truly use the majority of these. And I use Trello to organize everything from my business to my home projects, my grocery list. Like I even planned my wedding, true story. So Trello really helps you to organize specific projects, right? Into boards. And that's how we typically lay out our project boards for the business. So as you can see here, I have my own personal Trello uh, to do board. Then we have big fat projects, which is what we're working on as a company, our team info board or info hub, where we literally go in and add our mission statement, assets like logos, exactly who our team is, how to talk about our culture, all that good stuff, content calendar, team meetings, and then my individual teams to do's as well as system and processes, training libraries, our funnels, content ideas, uh, how to manage our membership site, home stuff, right? Because there's lots to do there too. And so that's kind of how Trello is organized in terms of those boards. Now there's also a home view here where you can see activity on the specific cards on multiple boards. This is really helpful so you can see which projects are coming up as well as, you know, different projects, what your team has said about them, if you do have a team. Um, and then if you're using this, maybe you're sharing boards with clients, you can see activity there as well. So I love this section because again, it helps you stay organized and keep everything in one central location. So I wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do with your Trello board in terms of ideas and inspiration. And while we're going to focus on your specific personal workflows, it's always good to see what the possibilities are because Trello is so flexible. You can really create any kind of board that you want. So for example, if you go into our big fat projects board, you'll see exactly how to use the board on this left-hand side. And this is specifically designed for our team members so they know, okay, what is this board? What are all these cards? It's overwhelming. So we have instructions that are clearly laid out here as well as project resources. So exactly, you know, where to find things. And then also what we're working on this month, the projects that have been started, as you can see, we have a lot to do. And then we also go in here, what's coming down the pipeline and then completed projects, as well as a bunch of other helpful lists that we've created as we've gone along and kind of perfected our own team workflow. So the majority of the projects that my team works on are located in this board. Then we also have something really helpful like our content and promotional calendar. And I've talked about this in the past, but I love having all of my content in one place, my long form content. So we have a membership called the Business Lounge, and this is where we organize all the content that's coming out for the next you know, 90 days, really. So we have an entire content schedule here, and this is the latest course that we released. It's called Zero to Profits for service-based businesses. And if you're a Business Lounge member, you probably remember the previous name, it's called Savvy Online Selling. And so this is literally how we plan and publish content 
every single month we have you know specific checklists that are laid out here so the team knows exactly what needs to be worked on we've attached multiple a attachments here that are related right to this specific project as well as an entire outline of what this specific course is going to be about you can also add labels and of course due dates and so it makes it really easy for us to publish our content and have it organized in one specific place, right? We have newsletters that go out every single week to our members inside the business lounge. Then our YouTube content comes in here. We have an entire workflow on that, our blog only content, and then we moved everything that's been published onto this list as well as promotions and then brainstorming uh, and ideas goes on this side. So you can really use Trello for a myriad of things. We use it for everything in the business, literally. So I highly recommend that you get creative and think outside the box and maybe dig through some blogs for some inspiration. I'll link a few in the description box as well. Okay, guys, so let's get into the actual demo uh, board that I have for you here. So you can get an idea of what the workflow that we have or we recommend would be like. So Trello works in a linear form, right? It's designed to specifically for workflow boards to move across from left to right. So the idea is to set up all of your goals or all your to do's for the week on this column, right? So we have a bunch of card examples here and each task could be a card or maybe you want to have specific projects be a card and then add some checklists with individual tasks that are needed in order to complete that specific project. So really important to just lay these out, you know, for us, you know, create new TBL course. That's one of the tasks that we have. We can also, let's see here, for example, admin, these are a few things that we need to get done, right? Find a great dunning tool, test drip, find a good landing page, blah, blah, blah. So all of that is really helpful in order to create a card. All you have to do is click on add another card, right? We can do demo task right here move it here for the things that we need to do that week. And of course, go in and add any descriptions that we need to add, right? Add description if that's necessary. If not, move along, no need for that. You can also attach, right, documents, whether they're from your computer, whether they're on Trello already, from your Google Drive, Dropbox, et cetera, or you can just attach a link, which is always super, super helpful, especially if you're wanting to save, you know, a specific um, website or an article. You can also create awesome checklists. So to do's, right? We can break it down here even more and say task one, task two, and task three. And that way you can stay on track as you complete each task on your progress, right? This is 67% completed. So I love that. There's also a great option of adding specific due dates, right? So you are notified when something is due. And of course, once it's completed, you can mark it as complete. So I love Trello for that reason. There is plenty of space to uh, interact with your team. So for example, if I wanted to tag my assistant Pearl here, I could say, and she's no longer assistant, correction. She's a creative director, clear. <laughs> I could say, hey, need your help with this. Can you dot, 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 right? And so we save that there. And now we have a full blown conversation on what needs to happen. There's also some great labels so you can actually go in and say, hey, this is a admin task, or this is a priority task, or this is related to funnels and marketing, or this is client work. And that way you can know exactly how to prioritize your tasks throughout the week. Now, the idea here is to move things from, you know, again, the left hand side, onto the right as you make progress on them. So you can say, okay, these are all the things that I have to do this week. I'm gonna move to current sprint, the things that I'm, I'm going to be working on today. And of course you can rename these whatever you want. So maybe current sprint doesn't resonate with you. You can say something like daily to do's, right? Something like that. It's totally up to you in terms of how you wanna name it and how you wanna structure it. That's why Trello is so powerful because there's so much you can do with it and customize it. So once we have completed um, kind of the list of things that we're gonna tackle that day, as we begin the progress of each one, we can move them over, right? So started this project, maybe I added a couple um, links to it or a couple uh, checklists and as they're done, I can go in here and move it to done and know 
boom, I completed, you know, what I needed to complete. I'm on track with this specific project. Now, once you're done with your tasks every week, you can go ahead and archive the cards in that list and they won't be lost. They just will no longer be there. So you can start fresh every single week. And then we have ongoing projects, right? These are things that are recurring or maybe are a little bit more complex and you want to make sure that they are still on your to do list, but not necessarily the main focus if you're not working on them right now. And so the way that you can organize projects is in a project board that's totally separate, like the one I showed you. If you have a team, that's usually a lot easier than to have your own personal, you know, board here. But if you're a solopreneur and you're working on your own, then maybe this makes more sense. It just depends on your individual workflow. And so for projects, right, this is, for example, a funnel revamp. And one of the things that I like doing is adding images to my cards. So it's a little bit more visually appealing and I can easily figure out, you know, what card is what and what project it represents. So if I'm working on a project here, I can add a team member and say, you know, team, I need this to be done here. Um, let's communicate on this project. This is what needs to be done. I'm also going to add a due date, for example, and maybe categorize it as funnel. So we're all clear on, on what it is, even though that's kind of redundant since you already have the cover here, but it's something to keep in mind. You can also copy this board or sorry, this card, if you needed to move it to a different list or a different board, watch it to make sure you never miss out on notifications, archive it or share it. So I love this about Trello. It's a very basic, but straightforward platform. And there's so much that you can do. Now, of course, here there is an up next. So things that maybe are not a priority, but are things that you want to keep in mind um, and you don't want them to crowd your goals for this week. That could be here. And then things to outsource, I think is really important to have as you delegate and take things off your plate as entrepreneurs. Delegation is so important. So important to have that list here. Things that are not urgent can go here. Client to do's if you have clients, you can add that here, you can archive it or switch it out for something else. And then future projects, things that maybe are on that shelf that you've put on a like a wish list item, but it's not necessarily something you're going to be tackling soon. That can go right here. And then finally, ideas, resources, notes and wins. There's so much that you could do here, right? Um, so we have sales copy and testimonials, which is what I used to have on my board. Um, I kept my test client testimonials on my to-do list just so that I could get so much inspiration. And if I was having a bad day, I could just go in and remember all the awesome results my clients had gotten. So this is just the basics of Trello, how to set up a basic workflow, how to manage it. I just want to show you one last thing, and it's if you have a team, you can create an awesome project board. And if this is something that you would like an additional tutorial on, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, this would be a great question of the day is like, hey, what do you want to see next in terms of Trello? What do you want to learn how to do? Let me know in the comment section below. We take feedback super seriously and actually follow through with it. So if you request something, we're listening. Okay. So this is again, our project board, and this has evolved right over time. I've been using Trello since 2012. So trust me when I tell you it's been a process, a learning process, and I've been experimenting and perfecting it through the years. So for example, if I have a specific project that I'm working on with my team, like for example, we're reshooting uh, our upsell videos for our program zero to branding. I'm going in here and I have a checklist. I have things, you know, that need to get done. And then I have, you know, my team is there answering specific tasks or things that we need to get done. Right. So for example, if we're all collaborating, let's see one of these, uh, tech issues, I have a description of the problem here and we're all discussing in the comment section, what's going on, how we can fix the problem. We're linking tutorial videos or videos of the actual issue and just communicating that way. So it's a really awesome way of keeping everything that you have going on in your business in one place. As you can see, we have a ridiculous amount of things going on in our brand because we run a membership site, we sell online courses, we create content exclusively for our members. 
We're also constantly perfecting, right, our platform, our software, our apps, um, and then going in and doing a lot of marketing. We do videos here on the channel every single week. We also publish blog posts, newsletters, both for our paid members and for our uh, our community. So if you're not on the e-list, make sure to subscribe because you'll get so much bonus content that we can't put into videos because they would be way too long. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope it allowed you to kind of explore the world of Trello and figure out how to use it in a way that really makes sense for your own personal Trello system and your own personal productivity workflow. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. We have some awesome new tutorials coming out, and I'm also going to link the playlist that we have on other Trello videos if you want to learn more about Trello. In fact, our community inside the Business Lounge has requested highly that we create an entire Trello course. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to join our e-list so you never miss out on what's coming down the pipeline both on the channel as well as things that are happening inside our paid community as well. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to learn next about Trello and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. So you know how building an online business can be totally overwhelming? You're probably learning new strategies from YouTube, other blogs, podcasts, and taking courses that are all great, but sometimes give you contradictory and even confusing advice. I get it. It's hard to filter through which strategies you should be implementing right now to grow your online business versus the ones that you should stow away for the future, you know, when you're actually ready to implement them. And that's exactly why we designed the online success path. Inside, we broke down the six stages of a successful online business. Validate, launch, hustle, breakthrough, profit, and scale. And we designed a complete roadmap inside the Business Lounge membership just for you. Inside each stage, you will find a step-by-step -step action guide tailored to the specific challenges you'll encounter during the stage of business you are currently at, complete with getting started tips so you can know exactly what to expect, video tutorials so that you can implement new strategies, action items so you stay on track, plus full-blown courses to help you focus only on the tasks that will accelerate your progress right now and take you to the next level in your business journey while keeping you accountable and overwhelm free. So if you're ready to take your online business to the next level, get started at jointhebelounge.com.